What's up folks, this is Dan from Discern. Welcome to the first episode of the Discern Recap where I'm going to be bringing you a nice packaged summary of new music coming from the broad category that is Christian music. Just a little intro to what this show is. It's going to be releasing every Monday. This week was a little late. The format, sort of structure, I'll be giving you recommendations for things I listen to, things that um, I would recommend to a friend, things that I think uh, you should listen to, give at least a try. Um, other new releases, I'll just run through a list of, of things that you might be interested in that I didn't particularly like, but you may be interested in. And uh, if we got notable news or topics, we may uh, touch on those things too. So you need to get involved, uh, help grow this. If this is something you're interested in, subscribe, comment below. Um, you can tweet at me, at discernreviews, email me, discernreviews at gmail.com. What do you want to hear about? I really do value your opinion and what you want to say, uh, what, what you want me to talk about, what you have been listening to. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Recommendations. My first one would be Jason Dunn with the single I'm Into You. He's the previous lead singer from Hawk Nelson, now doing uh, his own, well, his new band, I guess, Lights Go Down. Uh, this, this single is... You know, emo, acoustic, whiny. I love it though. I mean, to me, it was, it's almost instantly nostalgic. The straining vocals, the angst, the acoustic that sounds like it was recorded while sitting at the edge of a bed in your room, you know, wishing she felt the same way. It's like I'm in middle school again. You know, there's not, not a whole lot of depth musically and, and lyrically. I understand that. It's, a, it's about a girl, go figure. But uh, I enjoyed it anyway. And if, if you're into that emo sound, um, on this in this instance, acoustic, um, I do recommend it. Second recommendation would be Mark Bishop and Forget the Sea with their self-titled record, Mark Bishop and Forget the Sea. They are a Kentucky folk group, uh, Appalachian sound. Um, this is actually their debut album. And they've got a lot of experience in this band. A lot of the people in the band have been making Christian music for a long time. Mark Bishop uh, is even a, a Dove Award-winning artist. He leads the group. Uh, their sound is really not bad overall. Great production, great sound, a good variety of, of both tender and energetic songs, uh, beautiful vocals throughout, especially from his two daughters who sing on the record. Lyrically, it's kind of corny. Uh, I mean, just look at the titles. The, the sun is shining. S-O-N. Yep. But three tracks I would recommend uh, to get you started. You Are, You Are. That's a song that's uh, featuring his two daughters pretty prominently and some beautiful melodies and harmonies. The Sun is Shining, while a corny name, is a, a really good track, I think. I, I really did like the lush guitar that's sort of the most prominent instrument in the song. And then uh, Pick Me Up and Carry Me, it's a, a folk standard type of feel, um, bluegrass even, and it's, it's just fun. I like that one. Other new releases, let's move on to those. Things that you may be interested in, uh, Young Noah and Audio Adrenaline released a collaboration. Uh, called Long Way to Go. That's just a single. I don't know if an album, an EP, I don't know if anything else is coming to this collaboration, but uh, it's uh, sort of like a hip-hop, pop, pop rap, you know, that sort of sound that's really popular these days. Um, great production, um, if that's your thing, check it out below. We got uh, Showbread released, um, their last album actually. Showbread is Show Dead. It's a clever name. Uh, metalcore, hardcore, honestly like a garage rock sound. They're, they're almost a little experimental. They are, they're unique, you know. Um, like I said, this is their final album. Um, so if that's your thing, got links below. Andrew Marcus, he is a CCM artist, um, worship leader, kind of a standard rock sound. He releases his album Constant. And finally, we got uh, Ignite. Uh, they released their album, This Is A War. Classic rock, classic metal sound, punk. Um, 
I don't know much about these guys. They are led by Zoli Teglas, who has a, a long history in punk and metal worlds. But uh, what their ideology is, are they, are they Christians? I don't totally know. Uh, I saw them on, well, do we ever really know? <laughs> uh, I saw them on Indivision Music, uh, like a Christian music community. And, you know, I know they're really socially and politically active. They donate to nonprofits, environmental, humanities groups, uh, other things. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me, but uh, I, I just don't know much about them. So if that's a, a band that interests you, I mean, comment below. Let me know. Uh, I am always eager to learn new things. So that's all I got this week. I um, hope you had a happy new year. I hope you haven't broken all your new year's resolutions yet. It's usually how it goes. Thanks for watching the Discern Recap. Uh, please subscribe if you like this content. It's going to come to you every Monday. Sometimes it'll be late. But I'm going to do my best every Monday to have a, a, a new video for you, recapping new releases, new music, recommendations, lots of good stuff. If you have suggestions of what you want to hear, a specific album, maybe a topic, let me know. Twitter, at Discern Reviews. Email, uh, discernreviews at gmail.com comment below whatever you want just reach out and uh get involved anyway hope this helps see ya